Hello everyone, and welcome to my video of my recent camping and diving trip. In this video, I want to try something a little bit different, and I want to talk to you guys. We start this video by driving to our campsite, where we aim to park at the at the Glen Etif, which is located at the bottom of the Skyfall Road. Unfortunately, we hit some heavy traffic on the 82 due to a crash on the way to the campsite, causing us to arrive at several hours later than anticipated. As we arrive onto the Skyfall Road, the darkness is starting to settle in, and driving along this road, we assessed that the car park was already already at max capacity, so we chose to pick a different spot on the way. Fortunately, this turned out to be an excellent replacement of where we were planning on staying. We woke up the following day after a very wet and windy night. Still, once I uh, opened up the van in the morning, I was blessed to see the true beauty of the spot that we had chose to stay in. Even the rain had stopped to show us a beautiful morning. As you will soon see, a beautiful river was next to our spot, including a waterfall and a pool that looks deep enough to dive or swim in. Has anyone that had any experience swimming in this spot? Let me know in the comments section below. We contemplated diving in this spot, but after some discussion we decided not to dive here, but we may come back in the future. After breakfast at the uh, Cross of Things Cafe, we went to our dive site. This dive site is part of uh, Loch Leven, uh, which is located just before the Balahulish uh, Bridge, as annotated in the picture in, the vi in this video. At this dive site, there was plenty to see. Here we see a tiny hermit crab covering out of the shell. While diving around Scotland, I am always looking for skeletons to catch and cook. But luckily for this little guy, he was far too small. These two whelks look like they're in a race to get somewhere. I wonder where they're heading. I'm 
my dive buddy found a sizable edible crab at this point in the dive. I hope we could catch it and do a catch and cook part of this video. Unfortunately the crab got away. After our dive at Loch Leven, it was time to head back down south. However, on seeing the sign for Falls of Fallock, we decided to pop in for a quick dive to give all our kit a nice fresh water rinse. Unfortunately, this dive was caught short as it was uh, very dark under the water compared to the last time I dived here, and my batteries for my torch started to die. Whilst diving in this spot, as always, we're on the lookout for lost treasure and trash to throw away. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.